Welcome back to Windsor, everyone. It still remains the case, although I know you'll give me a giggle when I say this, that this man is the biggest pull in horse racing. Frankie de Tori on Alan Carr the other night. How did, how did you get on in the Grand National? <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to talk about the Grand National if people don't know anything about it. But, uh, you know, it was fun. It was nice to meet people like Will I Am and uh, Eric Inglesias. So it, it was a good night. Of course, people still remember, of course. What was the show with Chris Evans where you, you came out of the box flying? I remember that. Do you remember that years ago? <laughs> it was a while ago. I still wonder how you did that. You'll have to tell me afterwards. But magic, look, magic. Well, it clearly wasn't magic. But, um, look, exciting stuff for you. Yes. Um, let's just turn the clock back. Trev, hacks up in the arc, you're sat at home. How was, how did that feel? <laughs> was it, I mean, look, every... I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was on the verge of crying. You know, and it's natural because obviously I just came out of hospital and I was meant to be on her. It could have been my full frequent in arc uh, next to my good friend Olivier and, uh, and it wasn't to be. But, uh, you know, this is, this is part of our job. You know, sometimes you have good luck, sometimes you haven't. And... You gotta take everything, every, uh, every which way it comes, and uh, you can't dwell on the past. You gotta look forward, and uh, luckily enough for me, that she's still in training, and uh, I am uh, gonna fly to Shanti tonight, and I'm gonna give her the finishing touches tomorrow morning. So I'm, uh, I'm a little bit like uh, a child before Christmas morning. I'm that excited, you know, because she is the best horse in the world. I thought you were just excited to see me, Frankie. <laughs> <Don't cry. laughs> Don't cry. It's Trev. Just going back to that to that moment, though, I mean, you more than anyone perhaps in racing have understood what being a team player is about with your history with, with Godolphin. But can you really wish her to win the arc? Or there must be a bit of you to say, oh, please get into some sort of trouble. Well, I'll be honest with you, I, you know, I did all the prep work for her. You know what I mean? I went down three times to try to work. I know that in November, myself and Cricket worked closely together to, to make sure that we got absolutely right for the arc. So, you know, uh, it's just fun to do some fortunate things. So. But, uh, I, you know, she proved to everybody then, you know, how good she was and I was delighted with that. She wasn't just good, though. I mean, it was one of the most extraordinary performances a lot of people have seen perhaps since, like, A Dancing Brave or something like that. I mean, if you, if you look down the runners, you know, when you go also, like, Intello, Vef and uh, 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 Japanese derby winners, English derby winners, Al Kazim, I mean, they're all in the field and she just annihilated. So it was, was, was magic. And I wrote that a couple of weeks ago and... Uh, I forgot how good she was, you know, I, I, I walked around with a smile on my face for three weeks. You know? We were lucky enough to go and see her last year, and, and the one thing Cricket was emphasising was that this is a filly she really thought would be better this year than last, and that's why she didn't enter her in the arc to start with. Well, if you, you know, uh, it's amazing what, you know, what, what Winter does to a filly, and she, she looks magnificent, magnificent. Um, you, you'll see her, you know, hopefully everything touch wood, if everything goes fine, she'll be back the 27th, so... So you are the kid in the sweet shop, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. So in two weeks' time, and uh, it's, all, it's all looking great at this stage. And mile and a quarter, mile and a half, it, it looks like she could run at any of those distances. Uh, but, I mean, uh, uh, a programme has already kind of been pencilled in. Obviously, the gun, if, and if everything goes well, I think uh, Cricket and Sheikh Joan decide to, to take her to England and parade her in the Prince of Wales. And then she'll have a summer break, and then uh, may name it be the Ark. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You've got... Two other particularly good horses to look forward to. Uh, Olympic Gori is one. What's the latest on him? I'm going to Richard uh, this weekend, and uh, he, he's, he's penciled into running a lockage. So if I ride him this weekend or not, I don't know, but I'm sure I'll be sitting on him before the lockage. The lockage is not till the uh, third week of May, I think. So we got some time to work on him, and uh, you know he likes straight tracks, uh, you know, and. Uh, Mile sometimes it can get a little bit soft where he doesn't mind the newbury, so that'd be his start. His, 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 his start. And we really saw what he could do in the QE2. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, second is Jacqueline Malwa to the great filly. It is it's proper too. Toronado will be Richard Hughes' ride, but Richard is sidelined at the moment, so you might get a sit on him somewhere as well. Yeah, we'll see. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Richard has been riding all sorts of his life, so he knows him like the back of his hands, but. Uh, uh, if, if he happened not to be available, then uh, obviously uh, I'll be stepping on him. And your life in the last couple of years, I mean, you know, no doubt there will be a, another Frankie Dottori book in the future. <laughs> but, you know, the... It's been colourful. <laughs> it's been very colourful. I mean, it has, but it's been extraordinary the last couple of years. I mean, you, you've had problems that you won't want to chat about, particularly at length here, but, but you know, you've had the Godolphin split, which seemed to be like a marriage breakup. Now you've got this, this real new job to look forward to. Do you feel a sort of new lease of life? Uh, yeah, I went for a Tory time last year because I started 
basically uh, Derby Day and all the rides were gone. Everybody was already booked for their own. So it's very hard to, to fit it back in. But, uh, you know, luckily for me, Joanne snapped me up and, you know, and, that, you know, we, we, we expanded the stable enormously. We bought a lot of horses at the sales. Um, we have 50 in France and 50 in Europe, in England. So, you know, he's now a, a, a very, very good job. And he's got ambitions to, to have stallions and mares. So he's going to expand. So he's, he's, you know, I am very pleased that I can give him my expertise. And, uh, you know, it's... I, you know, I've worked for uh, stable for 18 years. It's nice to have worked for one stable as, as, as big as that. So I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. I get the feeling you quite enjoy that atmosphere as well, being part of the team. Yeah, I do. And uh, I even enjoy going to France a lot. I've got some sensational trainers in France and, and here as well. So it's great to see everybody's different technical training or different way to understand the horses. And uh, it's it's given me a new lease of life, I guess. You know, I I'm really wake up in the spring of my step and, you know, I never know what today has got to offer. So it's fantastic. And, and you know as well as I do, and I know it pretty well, that there are people who hate you in this game and, and, and like you. But if this job hadn't come along, do you, do you think you'd still be riding this season? Do you think, do you, could you have given up if a big job hadn't come along? Would you have enjoyed scrubbing around trying to get handicap winners sort of thing? Because it's hard to get freelance big race rides. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I don't know. I, I can't answer that question. No. But, uh, you know, I would, uh, I'm, I'm only 43, so, uh, you know, I would have, you know, persevered for a little bit longer anyway. Well, we wish you well, Frankie. And hope you have a good, good trip over to France. Me too. too. Ganet around the corner. We'll see it on at the races, and we can't wait to see Trev back. We're as excited as you. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you.